how are you all i hope you all must be fine right so today we are going to read about class 4 science olympiad and in class 4 science olympiad which chapter we are going to read we are going to continue that is the health and hygiene okay so health and hygiene uh, we have already uh, completed uh, some questions right now we are going to discuss some more questions of this chapter okay so are you all ready for it yes so let's get started the first question excess of acid in the stomach causes option a digestion b acidity c indigestion d dehydration so you know that our stomach that secretes an acid okay the name of the acid that is hydrochloric acid okay so our stomach secretes that acid and it helps in the digestion of food okay but if excess of acid secretion is there then what will happen then it will cause to acidity so correct answer is option b that is acidity okay yes let's move to the next question which is the uh, which is the not a condition shown by a person suffering from acidity option a vomiting b ulcer c body ache d heart burns so uh, it is ulcer which is not a condition shown by a person suffering from acidity now we got to know what is acidity right so excess secretion of acid in the stomach it causes acidity and if acidity occurs then vomiting occurs also it may also occur and heart burns up also occur okay but the thing which is not happening that is the body ache so the correct answer is option c body ache okay yes next question stagnant water breeds option a mosquito b frogs c fish d animals so you know stagnant water a uh, water uh, <clears throat> it is uh, held somewhere right and what happens if it came, if it is um, stagnant water if it is there for a long time then mosquitoes they breed there okay so stagnant water it breeds mosquito got it next question what should be sprayed on stagnant water to prevent the breeding of mosquitoes option a water b boil water c ors d kerosene so what should be sprayed on stagnant water to prevent the breeding of mosquitoes so we just uh, read that the stagnant water here breeding of mosquitoes occur but it is not good right so what we should do we should do something so that the stagnant water there there will no more be the breeding of the mosquitoes okay and for that what we do we spray something and what is that something that is the kerosene okay when we spray kerosene on the stagnant water then there will be no more breeding of mosquitoes okay that's why correct answer is option d that is kerosene right coming to the next question loss of excess water and salts from the human body is called option a respiration b rehydration c dehydration d transpiration so do you know the answer yes if you know the answer you can write in the comment box okay yes so the question is loss of excess water and salts from the human body it is known as what so that is dehydration d means removal okay and uh, hydro that is something related to water so there is a excess loss of water so water is removed from our body so we call it as dehydration okay yes next question which of the following is the correct way to dispose garbage option a throwing it on the road b throwing it into the pit c leaving it where it is d burning it on the roads so which of the following is the correct way to dispose garbage so throwing it on the road should we throw it on the road no right yes uh, throwing it into the pit yes we should do that leaving it where it is no not at all burning it on the roads no 
so what we should do we should do uh, we should throw the garbage into the pits so correct answer is option b got it yes next question the solid waste produced in our houses is called option a sewage b garbage c stagnation d waste so the solid waste that is produced in our house in our house the lot of solid waste are produced right you must be knowing about it and what do we call them we call them as garbage so correct answer is option b that is garbage next question decayed garbage can be used as option a medicine b food c cement d compost so decayed garbage if garbage it is decayed then we can uh, use it as compost okay and what is that compost is used for uh, it uh, helps to grow the plant properly okay it contains the nutrients which helps the plants to grow properly so correct answer is option d that is compost right next question animal dung and other ticking matter can be used to produce option a biogas b medicine c insecticides d pesticides so the animal dung and other ticking matter that can be used to produce biogas so from these substances a gas is produced which we call as biogas and we can use it in our kitchen also got it yes and we don't use it as medicine insecticide these are some substances of uh, which are used to kill the insect okay and pesticide these are the substances which are used to kill the pest like mouse rodent okay so uh, sorry a pesticide that is used to mm, kill the pest okay uh, so it is also not the answer then the correct answer is option a that is biogas next question Which of the following is the best way to dispose waste water from our kitchens? Option A, using it as drinking water. B, using it as bathing water. C, use it for watering the plants in the garden. D, letting it flow onto the road. So, which of the following is the best way to dispose waste water from our kitchen? So, from our kitchen, a lot of water is um, produced, right? Lot of waste water, but we should not waste that because there is scarcity of water, right? So, uh, we should not waste water. How can we use that water? We can use the. Of course, we cannot use it as drinking water. we cannot use it as bathing water but we can uh, use it for watering the plants in the garden so that it will not be wasted okay and letting it flow onto the road no we should not do that right yes so the correct answer is option c coming to the next question flies spread option a diarrhea b typhoid c malaria d dengue fever so flies are uh, they um, spread a disease that is diarrhea okay and uh, yes so this is the correct answer option a next question germs live in option a dust b air c water d all of these so germs they live in where they can live in the dust they can live in the air they also or they can also live in the water as well right so what will be the correct answer that is option d all of this okay next germs attack our teeth and form small holes called option a cavities b spores spots c marks d none of these so we know that germs attack our teeth okay and they form small holes so when we chew the food the food particle they get stuck in between the teeth right and especially on this sugary food particle uh, bacteria they attack right the germs they attack and uh, <coughs> they produce some acid and due to that they produce holes in the teeth okay and we call it as cavities what it you must have heard about the word cavity right yes next question Uh, which gives us quick energy carbohydrate proteins fats all of this do you have any idea that which uh, nutrient which type of food nutrient that gives us quick energy if you know the answer you can write in the comment box okay so what will be the answer 
that is option A carbohydrate. It gives us quick energy. Okay. Yes. Next is the coming to the last question of today's session. Canning, dehydration, and pickling are the methods of dash food. Option A cooking. B garnishing. C preserving. D none of these. So canning, dehydration, and pickling are the methods for preserving the food. Preserving the food means you know uh, when we fully uh, leave the food for some time for some long duration, what will happen? Uh, the microorganisms, microorganisms that we cannot see in our naked eye. Okay, so they attack on the food and they spoil the food, and we don't want the food to spoil. So what we can do? We uh, what we can do? We can try to preserve the food, and for preserving the food, we can. Go for canning, dehydration, and pickling. Other methods are also there. Okay, so the correct answer is option C, preserving. Got it, everyone? Yes. So this much for today's session. Uh, let's meet you in the next session. Then uh, till then, read mindfully. Okay. So meet you soon. Bye bye, everyone.